Call this meeting to order the uh, Development Review Board for the City of Montpelier on September 16th. Um, I will let Meredith explain the uh, remote procedures. I just wanted to introduce oh, you. Which oh, way you want to do it. it? Tell us who you are. <laughs> Rob Goodwin, DRB Vice Chair. Kevin O'Connell, Board Member. Meredith Crandall, Staff. Catherine? Give me the oh, you're now in chair. Okay. Alex Hellas, board member. Joe Kiernan, board member. Catherine Burgess, board member. Awesome. Yep. I think that's everybody. Yep. Great. Sound. So I can hear the echo. It's okay. Where, no, uh, okay. The button up here. Uh, what? Yeah. Nobody in person. Nobody on. Yep. All right. Okay. So we are going to move to the remote procedures by Meredith, and then we will continue on with our application. All right, so I will keep this quick because we just have somebody to represent the applicant and um, board members on. Okay, so yes, everything shows. Um, so for anyone viewing tonight's meeting via um, Orca Media, you can participate in the Development Review Board's discussion through either video or telephone access options. Um, you can either, if you want the full video experience, you can type this link into your web browser. I'll get a notification that you want to get into the meeting. Alternatively, you can dial this phone number and when prompted, put in this meeting ID. And again, I'll get a notification and let you into the meeting. Um, if anyone is having problems accessing the meeting, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org. Um, I will be monitoring my email throughout the meeting. For everyone attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. Um, please do keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This will help reduce background noise. Um, and a reminder that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. If you have a question or comment about an item on the agenda, please raise your hand, um, either physically or by using the raise hand button on your Zoom toolbar, and um, then wait to speak until the chair has recognized you. In the event the public is unable to access this meeting, and I would get notification of that via my email, um, the meeting will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I will now hand the meeting back over to the chair. All right. Has everyone had an opportunity to review the agenda? I have a motion to approve the agenda. I'll make such a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And so the, uh, the application that we're dealing with tonight is Zero Elm Street. Um, Kurt, you're here to speak for the applicant, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, it's a request for a new driveway with less than the minimum spacing. It's basically the application. Um, Do you need to be sworn in? Yeah, he does, because okay. he's representing the applicant, not the city. Okay. <laughs> um, Kurt, I'm going to let you explain basically what's going on here, but if you would raise your right hand. And solemnly swear that you're here to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury. Yes? I do. Okay, thanks. <laughs> That's great. Um, so if you could do a quick description of uh, what this what this application is. Okay. Um, so it's really just a, a driveway uh, application um, that, as you, as you noted, it does not meet the, the standards and zoning. Um, so we did a, a bridge project. We replaced the Grout Road Bridge, the city did. And as part of, um, uh, of that project, uh, we had to get an easement from uh, the property owner that owns this property. And um, a part of the easement was, um, you know, to uh, support a, a driveway application um, to this process. So um, it's about, I believe the driveway edge is about 50 feet from Grout Road Bridge. The standard, I believe, is 200 feet. And, um, you know, the reason why, uh, you know, we would support this variance is um, is that Grout Road only has three houses on it. So low traffic street. Right. And, the, and the sight lines in this area are really good, relatively straight road. And there's no real obstructions that would, um, you know, pose a, a safety hazard uh, for allowing this driveway. 
Okay. Seems like a pretty good summation. Um, you know, basically looking through the staff report, looking through the regulations that apply to this, um, you know, we can certainly go through the standards. Um, there's no new EOC, the tongue tied. Um, but there are no new uses or proposed for this vacant parcel. So there's an existing driveway there now that has been in use. Um, that has, according to the Department of Public Works, not provided any kind of issue um, due to the low amount of traffic there. Um, it does not. Uh, Completes, it complies with the dimensional standards of 3002 and 3003, um, and the water uh, setback is evaluated separately, but that also seems to be fine in terms that there is um, there are buffers on it, but this driveway does not run into any of them. Is that correct? <clears throat> yes, that's correct. Thanks. Um You know, I guess uh, my concern primarily in in something like this is that the Department of Public Works uh, is okay with it. That seems like they know what they're doing. They know, I mean, they've got those lines of sight things. They've got those, so that if they're not feeling like there's a you know a, um, an issue with it, I'm inclined to uh, to move that along. Um, other people want to talk about other parts of this? No, it's uh, Carl. Very familiar with the site, so. If someone were to say they could put the driveway off of Grout Road itself, because maybe that would be safer. I don't know. I'm just saying out there. It seems to be there's like a significant bank there and be a lot of grading would maybe be needed that would take up a bunch of the parcel. Is that yeah, right? so uh, I can respond to that if you want. Um, so we looked at uh, having the driveway come off Grout, and um, the issue is that it's really, it's really close to Elm, so getting... You know, a car into the correct lane in order to turn off or turn on the elm, it's potential that you would be obstructing grout uh, by not being able to make the full radius. Yeah. Um, and then there's also a guardrail off the bridge, so they're really limited to how far back from elm the driveway, the curb cut could be on grout. Yeah. <clears throat> so it just, it doesn't work as well, um, you know, just uh, yeah. dimensionally uh, uh, for the cars to make the turning movements. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, does anybody else have any questions or want to discuss this further? Happy to talk about things. Can I get a motion? We'll add some discussion to it in a moment, if needed. Make a motion. Motion to grant access for minimum spacing exemption for a new curb cut at zero Elm Street, parcel 17602201, as presented in application Z2024-0086 and the supporting materials. I don't believe there are any conditions that uh, I feel necessary. Okay. I'll second. All right. Any further discussion? I think, it's a, I think it's as straightforward as 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 we've been treating it, and we okay. right ahead and deal with it. All right, um, Catherine, did you have your hand up? Oh no, I agreed straightforward. I came on the video in the event we're um, voting soon. Okay. Uh all right. Uh, let's do a roll call. Rob, Rob votes yes. Kevin. Kevin votes yes. Alex votes yes. Joe votes yes. Catherine votes yes. And I vote yes as well. So that is unanimous. Thanks, Kurt. Okay. Thank you all. Have Thanks, Kurt. Thanks, Kurt. I will get, I have to do a written decision before it's official, um, but with no conditions, as soon as that written decision is done and Sharon signs it, we'll be able to issue the permit. Permits. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Kurt. Yeah. Still subject to uh, appeal timelines, correct? 45 days? Uh, so uh, 30 day. 30 day. 30 day appeal from the date the decision is yeah. signed. Got it. So it's sure. still subject to that. Yeah. But I also 
got no public comments from any neighbors. Yeah, no, it's good. So it makes it a little harder. Move it along. Yep. One more thing to take off the plate. Yep. Okay. Um, has everybody had an opportunity to review the minutes from the August 19th meeting? Do you guys see him? August 19th minutes? Yes. Any anything? Nothing to correct. I move to accept. Okay. I second that acceptance. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposing? Okay. Uh, other business that we might have to talk about this evening. Only that I actually have no applications for October 7th, so you can change that next meeting date to October 21st, unless somebody has some reason they want to meet on October 7th for right. a learning experience. First, snowball. Can't pass on that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we have applications for the 21st? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I've okay. got there's stuff pending. Right. I have I have things where we're like, come on. Right. Get the work bring, done. Bring it in. Um, but no, I don't we're we're dealing with a bunch of um uh, really flood familiar. remediation stuff that doesn't come to you all. So those are all still working through. That was this at design review. We had um Kelly Hubbard Library stuff a little bit of exterior work that had to be done along with their flood remediation and moving all their utilities up and creating a waterproof room in the basement those are the kinds of things we're dealing with that doesn't come to you no it's it with they could come to us they don't like what you say so they must like what you say <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so far um yeah it feels like it's kind of been a light year it's been it's you know we've had a couple extremely of, long you know, a new stuff that comes to you all yeah yeah. Yep. Just doesn't seem like we've had very much. I, I'm hopeful that we'll start seeing more things. Um, I mean, that's the city just, what, a few months ago, this spring? I can't remember when exactly it happened. Adopted their new policy on um, development agreements where the city helps out with utilities and things. Oh, and right. They're working on also expand, like adding to or creating a new TIF district. So those things may speed up some of that development oh, and the whole, um, the fact that the Act 250 exemption, interim exemptions have gone into play for the right. next two years. I'm hopeful we'll see some other other things that well, come before y'all. We are here to serve as soon as there's an applicant. <laughs> um, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those, in, all those in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. That's got to be a record. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close. It may not. It's, it may tie. It may tie. tie. We had a we had a record one, I think, early in the year. But yeah, seven fifteen. It's been very light. Well, Meredith, my daughter just got a record good deal on babysitting too. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome awesome well, that's great, Catherine. She, she's running the show upstairs but anyway i guess well, i'll cool. go tag right back in hey, shh, so. shh, you're not out of the meeting yet right yeah. now's your time Carve out a few away. minutes to yourself oh. <laughs> considering, considering that there's no nothing for the agenda on the seventh uh -huh. this probably doesn't matter but i'll be out of town oh. for for the first couple of weeks okay. in October. Yep. Good to know. I will make a note just in case. Just in case. We're done. Yeah. Um, see ya. Bye.